Welcome to the video tutorial on identifying verbs in a sentence. First, a brief review. What are verbs? Verbs show action and the action being performed in the sentence. For example, I run. Run is the verb that shows an action. Another example is the sentence, we baked a pie. Baked is the verb because it shows an action. Verbs are important because they also show what something does or how someone is. For example, the dog smiles. Smiles is the verb showing what the subject, dog, is doing. Another example is they laugh. Laugh is the verb showing what the subject they is doing. There are three kinds of verbs. The first kind is an action verb, which is previous, as previously mentioned, describes the action taking place in the sentence. Some examples of these action verbs are to run, to jump, to yell, to sleep, and so on. There are also non-action verbs. These verbs do not show a particular action. A common non-action verb is the verb to be. For example, she is hungry. Is is of the verb area to be. Jimmy was happy. Was is part of the verb to be. The dogs are excited. Again, are is part of the verb to be. Another specific type of verb is the linking verb. They are another form of non-action verb that are often associated with feelings and appearance. For example, I remain, you appear, she feels, they seem. Remain, appear, feel, and seem are all non-action linking verbs. There are some other things to consider when looking for the verb in a sentence. First, don't confuse an adverb for a verb. Remember that adverbs describe how an action is done. They also usually end in ly. Take the example, she coughed loudly in class. Loudly is not the verb because it is an adverb. We know this because it describes how she coughed. If you have trouble finding the verb, remember a proper sentence must have a verb, but not necessarily has to have an adverb. Therefore, for this sentence, you could remove the word loudly and the sentence would still make sense. She coughed in class. However, you could not remove the word coughed and still have the sentence make sense. She loudly in class. Therefore, you know that coughed is the verb. If that seems confusing, just remember that when all else fails, adverbs almost always end in ly. Also remember, when identifying the verb in the, in the sentence, that negatives are never verbs. Take for example the sentence, he never feeds the dog. The verb is feeds, but never is not included in the verb because it is a negative. I have described all the main verbs in a sentence, but there is also another type of verb called helping verbs. Helping verbs show time. For example, the verb here is to eat. Joseph eats shows how Joseph eats at the present time. Joseph was eating puts the action into the past. Joseph has been eating shows that Joseph has been eating and may still be eating. Helping verbs also give special significance to the main verb. Helping verbs that do this are called modals. 
Here are some examples of modal helping verbs. Jimmy can drive. Jimmy may drive. Jimmy must drive. Drive is always the main verb, but the modals give special meaning to it in each sentence. Can, may, must, help, and change our knowledge of the main verb drive. It is important to note that helping verbs come before the main verb, even in a question. For example, she can dance the jig. The helping verb can comes before the main verb dance. The same thing can be seen in the question. Does she like the jig? The helping verb does comes before the main verb like. It is also important to note that some verbs can be both a helping verb and a main verb. One example of this is the verb to do. In the first sentence, I do the dishes, the verb do is a main verb. In the second sentence, I do not like the dishes, the verb do is a helping verb. Some other examples of verbs that can be both a main verb and a helping verb are the verb to have and the verb to be. I hope these tips help you when identifying the verb in a sentence. Good luck!